everyone, how's it going? It's Jeff the IT Guy. Hey. So today we're going to be taking a look at this. This is the Arctic uh, 7X. This is a smaller compact CPU cooler. It works for Intel and AMD. Um, we're going to go ahead and open this bad boy up and then we're going to install it and test it against our other CPU cores. Um, so I think this thing retails for in the low 20s, maybe $23, $24, something like that. Um, on the back of the box, it does say that it provides about 20 degrees better cooling for the um, over the Wraith Spire, which would come with like a 3600X. And it says that here on the back of the box, you know, that um, with a 3600X OC at 4 gigahertz, with this cooler, you're looking at 87 degrees, which is pretty high in my opinion. But... That's just me. Comes with this little box in here. Let's see what's inside this box. In this box, you're gonna get the Intel mounting bracket, um, some warranty information. This is a QR code so that you can look at the online manual. Um, and then it comes with the retention little pegs for the Intel system. So here's what the cooler looks like straight out of the box. Um, it's pretty neat looking cooler. It's got this shroud that goes all the way over the front of it, which I guess helps direct the airflow. Um, I think the fan is like 92 millimeters or something like that. It's not very big. However, I mean, it is deep. You can't really see, but the from here to here like this, that's how uh, large the fans are. These fans are massive on these things. I don't think I've ever seen fans uh, in here. It comes with the AMD bracket already applied, which makes sense since AMD is wrecking the CPU market right now. No RGB, it does come with pre-applied thermal paste on it. Um, we will not use that because we do not use uh, the pre-applied thermal paste. We only use Noctua NTH1 in our CPU test. Uh, what I can tell you though is it does look like the code plate on the bottom of this is actually quite small. Uh, which I do hate to see, but we shall see how it does up against the other coolers that we have tested. So let's see how well, uh, you know, as far as mounting it goes. Um, <clears throat> as always in these videos, we look at a B450 board uh, with a 1200X in it. Uh, we just want to see how well it mounts to Ryzen. Uh, our system that we use to test Coolers is a Ryzen based system with a 1600X. So we just want to see how well and how easy it mounts. Um, this actually looks like it's going to be pretty simple if I'm not mistaken. Um, but we'll see. It may not be simple at all. Some of these um, coolers are are easy to put on, some of them are hard to put on. Um, I would definitely recommend doing this outside of the case. If you can help it, that's not gonna work. I'm a man, so I'm not going to use the directions for this. It does have screws on it though, so I, would, I think that that's how it's gonna be done. Like that. It's got screws on the side. I am wrecking the thermal paste on here, like I said, but we don't use that junk. Okay. So, try it now. Get my wave fan. There we go. Yeah, so I, all you gotta do is just lower the, the screws a little bit. Okay, and they have to turn towards the inside. We'll get this, don't you worry. I'm not looking at no directions though. Okay. And it clips on like that. So once you figure it out, you look at the directions, it's actually a relatively easy system. Um, and then you can just screw, go from one side to the other. Do not tighten one side um, tight and then go to the other. You want to try and keep it even as you put this on. Okay, and don't, don't force it. You don't want to try, you don't want to crack anything. You just want to make sure that it's snug. 
Um, don't over tighten, just feel it, you know, don't force it, take your time. Okay. And then there you go. It's mounted. So that's actually a really easy mounting system. It's actually easier than the Thermaltake UX100 that we looked at. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the test bench. We're gonna test it and then I will meet back with you all and we'll go over the numbers. So testing is over with, with the Arctic Freezer uh, 7X. Let's talk about the test bench. We're running an ASUS Strix B450F gaming motherboard, a Ryzen 5 1600X at stock clocks. Um, got an RX 480 in there, reference design inside of an NZXT H500 with two not to a 120 millimeter fans in the front and one in the rear um, for airflow. As with all of my tests, I use Noctua NTH1. This is the thermal paste that I use for all of my CPU uh, cooler testing. Um, it's great stuff, it'll be linked below. And I always, always clean off the thermal paste with the Noctua NASCW1. These are wipes. Um, you get 20 in a box. They're thermal wipes. They remove paste. It's really great. So let's talk about temperatures. Um, <clears throat> so the Arctic uh, is a lot is actually really easy to install. Um, I said that you probably couldn't do it inside of the case or that it would be easier outside. I didn't have to remove anything whenever I went to install it inside the case. It left the GPU and everything. It was actually very simple um, to do. It took maybe three minutes or something like that. So it's a very simple install on the CPU and everything, uh, worked great. Um, as far as temperatures go, the temperatures were great. So compare the temperatures uh, for OCCT, 15 minutes on the 1600X uh, was 59 degrees, 59.25, which is actually really good. Compare that to the Wraith RGB um, that you get with like a 3800X or a 3700X, 3900X. Uh, it got 55 degrees at stock clocks on the 1600X run OCCT for 15 minutes. Overclocked as well to 4 gigahertz. Um, it got roughly the same temperature around 55, 56, something like that. So it actually, and then compare that to the Thermaltake UX100 that we also tested. That one got uh, 75 degrees. So... As you can see, this actually does really, really well um, for what it is. It's $25.99 on Amazon. I, I thought it was around $20, um, but it's $25.99. It's compact. It's really small, so it'll fit in probably almost any case. Um, the, it wasn't too loud as far as sound goes. I mean, it's not the quietest thing in the world, but it's, it's not really loud. It's got, a, like I said, 92 millimeter uh socket a uh, fan on here and it comes pre-applied with uh, Arctic MX2 thermal paste on here. If you've seen my thermal paste uh, shootout, we went through about seven tests. The MX2 did pretty well actually. Um, so it does come pre-applied with that if you want to leave it on here. But I like to do consistency. So that's why I use the Noctua. I would recommend this cooler uh, to anyone who needs it. Now, if you have something that's already got the Wraith RGB, this is not for you. If you've got like the Wraith Stealth or the Wraith Spire, um, this would be a little bit of an upgrade. If you've got the Intel stock cooler, this is definitely an upgrade um, if you've got the Intel stock cooler. <clears throat> so if you've got a lower end cooler already that came with your CPU, like I said, the Wraith Spire, Wraith Stealth, or the Intel stock cooler, this is a definite upgrade for you and you will see some really nice temperature drops um, you know, it says here on the back of the box that you lose about six degrees compared to the Race Spire uh, with going to this with the 3600X overclocked to four gigahertz. So, you know, I, I, I believe that probably. Uh, so the testing did really well. It's got six year warranty and stuff on the fan. So if you'd like to pick this up, there's links below for everything uh, that we went over. That would be the cooler. The thermal paste and the wipes, I always recommend those. I'm a huge fan. 
Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, thank you for watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more CPU cooler uh, reviews as well as case reviews. We do a lot of other stuff here on the channel. Uh, you know, just all sorts of stuff. Tech involved, I go through tech tutorials. So like coding, AWS, stuff like that. And I also give career advice. Um, we're going to be looking at consoles, which when you watch this may already be up. So go ahead and subscribe. If you've used this before, go ahead and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, leave a comment about what coolers you would like to see here on the channel. Um, and leave a like if you liked the video. Listen, y'all stay safe out there and keep it real. Later.